So, guess what I saw on the street? You're already giving up without even trying? <laughs> Fine. It's not that interesting, though. I saw my painting in a secondhand souvenir shop at a tourist spot. It was in an area where you can buy it for a price you think it's worth. That kind of thing. That's a new way of looking at things. I didn't expect this. Aw. Oh, you're so nice, cutie. So, like, how much are you going to pay for it? And let me remind you that the owner lets customers set their own prices based on how much they like the work. You're very generous, cutie. And here I thought you'd only offer ten. But as long as you like it, that's good enough for me. An art piece is only priceless to those who appreciate it for what it is at its core. And you're giving me the shells we picked up during our daily walks. They've been with us through every sunset, when the waves touched our feet, and when the breeze danced around us. Some even witness the moments we treasure the most. So of course I should give you a painting that's on par with their worth. As for this painting, maybe it should be left there. Actually, it's a monochrome sketch I did last year when I came to this area for field research. I just squatted down by the side of the road and did some quick doodling. I tried a new drawing technique and didn't sign it. An old man who was watching liked it, so I gave it to him. He probably never heard of the name Raphael. He just liked my work. It happens. Who knows? Maybe that old man didn't like it anymore. Or he had to give it up for some reason. But I'm happy for the art. Maybe it's just waiting to be reunited with the right person again. And that's why we are officially appointing you as the chief caretaker of Meow's Cafe. Here's your contract. Sign it after you read everything. Your shift starts tomorrow morning.
Precisely. Since you two were too engrossed in playing, the Evol Kitties are too exhausted. So you have to work hard at the cafe. Only then will these kitties feel better. I'm sorry, but these kitties do have a temper. Even I can't do anything about it.
heard someone plotting mischief and decided to play along. Would you like to try my latest beverage? Sparkling water with ice mint. It's delicious. Does that mean you like it? I might have bumped it while sleeping somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't stop me from staying hydrated, though. Should we start devising a strategy for the cats, given your knack for planning? You're doing a great job as the chief caretaker. The cats all seem to like you. Maybe we just need to keep things as they are for now. If sitting here isn't giving you any ideas, how about lying down for a bit? <sighs> I'm not a real cat, so I don't know how to make them happy. But I'm sure any creature fond of sleep would appreciate a comfy den. All of those sound great. Anything works, really. Why do we need to go to a pet health consultancy? <sighs> Sleeping is not the issue. But if you keep messing with my tail, its shedding might be. good for you to provide voiceovers, but it'd be even better to help me handle some of these kitties. Oh, how did the consultation go? It's another story. Can the diligent caretaker finally relax about me now? I'm far healthier than them. Unlike this one, drinking too little water, or that one, eating too fast. Already a professional caretaker, huh? Maybe we'll learn some scientific methods here that will encourage cats to drink. A pinch of calcium powder, a pump of fish oil. If catnip is for cats, then what do we call mint for humans? I can't believe it's not working. See? Both of you have the same speechless expression. There are dried catcrass sticks at the cafe. 
We stored them away because customers kept tripping on them. Should we repurpose them? Hmm. First, you need to pick out cat grass with just the right firmness. <laughs> you handled my tail with such vigor, and now you're so careful with these? Try tying it a bit tighter, like this. Don't worry, the dried cat grass is pretty resilient. It won't snap. Let's just give these to them, and we can make more back home. They're so tough. Nothing can beat them except for freeze-dried treats. That depends on whether you like them or not. For most people, it's probably a happy chore. It's like how you fuss over my shedding tail, but can't get enough of it. Am I wrong? Should we ask it then? <laughs> I stand corrected. It said you were right. This is a very honest tale. Going to keep watching or give me a hand? Today, five kittens got their teeth brushed and eight of them had their nails clipped. These kittens are scared and very angry at this caracal butler. Together, they're hurling insults at him. I'm listening, kitten. Hmm. Everything I do is for their health. Who knew they'd be so ungrateful? I sacrificed myself and suffered for these cats. Isn't that noble of me? Satisfied. They're fine. And you just can't keep your hands off of them, kitten. I'm working hard, aren't I? Clipping nails, brushing teeth, cleaning ears. And I have to figure out how to clean their tear stains and dirty chins. <sighs> it's exhausting. Let's call it a day and continue my butler duties tomorrow. Are you planning to sneak me into the Hunters Association tonight? Hold on tight, and don't get lost again. Hold it nicely, don't squeeze.
较美。Very sharp, Miss Hunter, coming up with such a perfect plan overnight. But considering my reputation with the kiddies, getting them excited about being beautified might be a challenge. Self-awareness. I'm tired and don't feel like going. Someone's been all about these messy little creatures. Didn't you hear me say I was exhausted yesterday? Lead the way. I just want to check out this learning center you found. See if they really teach you how to take care of cats. A cat's ear canal is very fragile, so be gentle when you clean it. Because the feisty ones won't be brought out for a demonstration. After the ear drops, massage the base of the ear to help the solution get deep into the ear canal. If the cat resists, hold them gently in your arms. This kitty is very sweet. Try brushing its teeth, and you can always ask me for help. Hey, little one, cooperate. <sighs> Make sure you hold it firmly. You're doing great. The cleaning was thorough, and the kitten was docile. They all seem to suit you. No, I'm a bad cat, always ready to betray my caretaker. Make sure that collar is tight around my neck. If you want me to behave, never let go. Or will we go home empty-handed? Who will go first? Copy that.
It's getting late. We should go home with our new friends. There's no need to hurry. We're very good at this. They can't escape. Perhaps, but it doesn't mean we'll be able to obtain them all. Who will go first? Sure. We can bring them home tomorrow. It's not good to try and get all of them in one day. If I have to carry them, I won't be able to hold your hand. Our record. That shouldn't be hard to beat. Never mind. You must be imagining things. You want to go first? Good luck. That's enough for now. Time to head home with our prizes. The process was a tough one, but the results were satisfying. We added new members to our family.
So what reward have you decided to present me once I get a plushie? I am but a student. My teacher is Miss. Why don't you let me take the lead this time? <laughs> this claw machine will be empty in no time. I'm not annoyed. I'm never annoyed when we do things together. I'm not fond of crowded places. I'll only tell you if you tell me who else you visited this place with. Let's see your skills.
I admire your courage. Sure, you decide. I just have one question. Do I get to be the only one who calls you that? <laughs> I'll just pretend I didn't hear that should. What did you think I was going to have us do? Your imagination is boundless, yet short-sighted. Let's see your skills. Barely. It's not as cute as you. If I didn't hear your voice, I would have thought a scammer got my phone number.
What is it? Tell me. You're actually serious? You want me to help you open a blind box? Did you check my lucky index on that weird test? That's a lot, definitely. How are you so sure I didn't use up all my luck today by getting 61? You should ask someone else, sweetie. And how much did you win? <laughs> Your luck's not bad. I don't risk my finances on scratch tickets. Is there someone who has a higher number than 61? Don't be upset if I fail to get you what you want. I can't say much about luck, but your optimism is higher than the norm. So, how am I supposed to help you? I think you're right. My luck is pretty good today. <laughs> <laughs>